Good morning guys. So I actually did film a clip this morning in my pajamas, hair on top of my head, looking really gross and I think I actually still had sleep in my eye when I look back so that's not going up. So I'm starting off this clip again. Um, so today it is, what is it? Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I handed in my project today. Thank God for that. Our project was like three months long and I still was like last minute with it as per. Um, I'm just making lunch at the moment. So I thought I would check in. It's really nice to like vlog again anyway. And um, we have a perfect window here for the good lighting. So I thought why not? My arm is really aching me. Um, I also have a brand new phone. Okay, I see brand new, I got it in November. My amazing boyfriend got me the iPhone X, X, XS, whichever one it is. Um, so I can vlog on it and get good photos on it because it's amazing. The quality is so sick. Um, I just like haven't had the time to like vlog. So I'm making lunch, I've handed in my assignment. Um, I also just got my ears pierced. So I originally had these two, I had these singles when I was like 10 and I pierced this one myself ages ago when I was like 15 with an ice cream to numb it. There was blood everywhere. And then I just got these two done. And then I just bought these cute earrings. Super cute, and it's something I want to do for ages. I didn't know that Accessorize actually did that, you know. Um, Accessorize do like free piercings. Um, you have to buy the earrings, so I got a pair for 25 pounds. And then, yeah, so really good. Love them. So, I'm cooking these like little falafel spinach balls, and I'm gonna have them with the rest of my iceberg lettuce and mayo. It's iceberg lettuce, vegan mayo, and falafel balls, and I just like mix it all together, and it's like the best. It's like pure like chipotle shit, and then a brew. I had this the other day, and it was so nice. I usually have like falafel balls um, in pasta with mayo, or vegan of course because I'm vegan. Um, yeah. Oh, shout out to our sign. <laughs> Flatmates being really friendly to each other, putting posters on the wall, saying to clean up each other's shit yeah just just a daily thing that happens here <laughs> um yeah i'm trying to think what i was saying it's so healthy and obviously i am vegan and if any of you guys are trying to be vegan then that's amazing because it's really not that hard i was like oh my god it's so hard like how could you do it like... so i go home tomorrow and it's gonna be nice i'm back for this week next week and then i only have like one or two classes maybe the next week and it's Jordan's 21st and we had plans for the weeks. I was like, sorry university, you're gonna have to hold for a minute. And then in March we go to Norway. I'm so excited. We have wanted to go for ages. When we were like best friends in college, me and Jordan, um, we would like talk about going to Norway and stuff and we know it looks so amazing. Um and I decided for his 21st I was gonna get him tickets to go to Norway. Because Ryan and I had a fucking good deal on. $12.99 each way so I was like I can't really not book these right now so I did um so yeah we go there as well but it's gonna be a fun three weeks hopefully um stress free hopefully but I have so much packing to do oh pardon me and I need to tidy my room because it's an absolute shithole I don't even know how it's got that bad but yeah free to vlog right now because that makes any sense because no one ever comes in here and I literally feel like I just live by myself in this flat so I'm currently trying to pack and um, this is the situation, right? Are you ready to see this guys? Right. This is my suitcase. And then we have these clothes over here. We have these clothes here. Like my room is a mess anyway because I haven't had time to tidy it because I've been in uni work non-stop. But I just pack and then I'm gonna tidy it and give this thing a scrub and a hoover because it is like disgusting at this point. Um but I'm trying to find my leggings and I can't find them anywhere. I'm literally like home for three weeks. So I'm literally trying to take so many clothes. I couldn't say literally anymore if I tried to take, could I? But I want to like film videos. So that's if I have the time. Because the first week my sister's away on a holiday. So I have nine horses to go and look after. Can't wait. And these people are watching me vlog. So guys, it's a little bit later on and I'm going to turn this other way on because it's so dark in here. Basically, it's a little bit later on and I've tidied my room. I'll show you guys in a minute. Actually, here we go, such a boy. I haven't tidied it properly because I need to hoover because it's still gross. Um, and I've packed, so that's good. But now, 
I'm gonna make some soup for dinner, I think. Okay, so I didn't even show you the process of me making my soup, but basically, I have this soup maker called, get rid of, soup maker, yeah. <laughs> and I put in a sweet potato, three potatoes, like normal potatoes, um, mixed herbs, and three vegetable stock cubes, a bit of salt and pepper, and then basically, uh, it, I add in boiling water, I don't know if you guys can see that, and then you put the lid on, um, I'm gonna show you how the magic happens. Right, I'm gonna to prop you somewhere. Like beeps when it's on and it comes up with this thing. This is quite a little challenge actually. So I want it on smooth, so we, no, wrong one. It's a really good tutorial guys. There you go, smooth. And then select. And then it just says it's gonna take 21 minutes. And then it was load to get itself ready. And then yeah, boom. Okay, so this is the finished product, and it's so bright this soup today, I don't know why. Um, and then I just cut up some bread and butter. The bread is vegan and the butter is vegan too. Obviously this is, because it's just pure veg and like a stock cube and stuff. Vegetable stock cube. Um, and then a cup of tea. Um, it's like really yummy looking, and I can't wait to dig in. Hey guys, so I haven't actually vlogged since I was like packing last night to come home. But surprise, I am home. You could probably hear the sheep in the background. Right, so there's so much snow here, it's like insane. Like, look at this tree. I feel like I'm in Narnia. Luna, come here. You wanna be in the vlog? This is Luna. Right, here we go, my hands are starting to shake already. But, um, I just wanted to show you guys the view. I'm probably not giving you the best view right now. Um, yeah, it's stunning. So I got back, I got the train back, and oh my god, right, I met the nicest woman ever. We literally had so much in common, and we were just talking about things, and she was so nice. And she actually used to live here for 10 years, and I was like, what are the chances? I find when you're on the train, you literally meet, like, the most interesting people. I always do, like, I met this old guy from Norway, who was, like, a computer science guy. And he's telling me about his life and then met this amazing woman from Canada once. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm probably going to the track right now. But the snow is so thick right now. Can you hear it? Like it's crazy. And I have got so many layers on. I feel really fat. I feel like a pregnant woman right now. But don't worry guys, I'm not. So the horses are in their stables at the moment. Or they're in the barn. Look at that view. It's our house. It's our car. These are trees. This is the horse box. <laughs> Amazing tour. Um, yeah, the snow's like really thick here at the moment. Good morning, guys. Um, so today is such a gorgeous day, and I thought, um, I thought I'd vlog today and just go through my day. I've literally just woken up. Can you tell? Like, I look brilliant. I'm literally a bit disgusting right now. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. I want to show you guys how sunny and blue it is outside because I love these days when I wake up and I'm like seeing all this. Okay, I don't really have the best view out of my flat, but you know, it is so nice. And I'm gonna make breakfast today. I'm actually going to the Dior exhibition with my friend Annika, and I'm very excited for that. Um, I haven't seen her in a few weeks because I've been out of London for a few weeks, so that'd be really nice to catch up. I actually saw her last night when George was leaving. Her boyfriend was leaving too at the same time. And I was like, oh, hey. But um, that's all I've seen her. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I'll make a cup of tea and some avocado on toast, obviously, because that's what I have. So I'm literally balancing my new gorilla pod on a rice cooker right now. Um, hopefully whoever owns the rice cooker doesn't walk in. Because they might be like, but yeah. Um, yeah, I got this gorilla pod because I wanted to... <laughs> Start vlogging. I've been looking for it for ages and I couldn't find one. Um, that was like a decent price. And I was going to go to the market and I found one for a tenner. So that's pretty made up. Avocado toast. Avocado. My favorite. 
is mad because I haven't vlogged in ages. I'm gonna put this on my original channel. Um, I've just been trying to focus on like my new channel and what kind of content I want on there. I'm also focusing on uni, settling down here. Then we had some family stuff going on. Um, so I recently, but that's okay now. Um, yeah, it's been a lot going on. My god, I shit myself. <laughs> 10 years later, she made her avocado on toast and cup of tea. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna go eat this. <laughs> Good morning guys, um, another sunny day, another beautiful sunny day, I'm in town to Lou because I faked town last night, feeling a little bit better, feeling a bit more myself and alive, super sunny today, don't know if I've just mentioned that, and you are back on my grill pot. Okay, so today's going to be quite a lazy day, like, I'm not going out, I'm gonna, I've literally just woken up at half eleven, sorry mum, you would not be happy with me, um, but I woke up at like half eleven, so I was like, oh, there's nobody having breakfast because it's friggin' lunch time. So I'm gonna make some lunch. Maybe a smoothie, I can't decide. I've got the berries out. Um, I still got soup in my soup maker from last night. I'd have that tonight though. Um, what do I do? But I want to try out. Okay, so I got sent this, and it's a claw water filter jug. And my friends have them in the flat, like, I'm not going to use this two here. Our kitchen's a bit of a mess at the moment. And honestly, like, I don't really know what these were. I haven't seen them in, like, a jug size. And then I moved here and everyone had these, like, fancy water jugs. And I was like, what is this? Like, they're like, oh, it's just to make sure your water's clean. Anyway, so someone from Clark reached out to me and was like, yeah, we'll send you it for free. You want to try it out, do a review? And I was like, sweet because I feel left out of my flat not having one of these. So I'm so excited to use this. So I'm just gonna unbox it. I'm trying to see if there's a better angle I can move this out. I haven't washed off my fake tan, so it might be looking a bit crazy. Okay, so we have it here. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Um, I have no idea how you use this. It comes with this. Okay, I'm looking at everyone else's. It doesn't look that hard to be fair. So, me being me, I don't really like read instructions. I just kind of like try to throw it together like a puzzle and hope for the best. What is this thing? Is that supposed to happen? I really want to take off my hoodie because I'm too hot. Um, but I ain't wearing any clothes underneath, so that's not a good idea. Also, I don't think I put this in my clip last night. Carl Wagerfeld, he passed away yesterday. So sad, it's literally everywhere on Instagram, everyone's devastated. And that, straight away I was like, who's gonna take over? And it, the new person is, um, I've forgotten her name, but she literally has like a private account and like no one's following her. And that is about to change for her because she's gonna be the new creative director. Insane. It's really weird that I'm actually like trying to be a creative director in uni. And it's like, shit, man, I'd be like Carl Lagerfeld, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So. So far, I've put it in like this. This is why I need the guy who always sent this to me to be like, this is how I use it. Right, I'm gonna be really cheeky and look at someone else's. Yes. Hopefully, I don't break theirs. Laughing on what I said? Okay. Comes on a leaflet, it says like all the things active carbon, iron exchange, resin, general balls. 
Okay, so I went shopping the other day, and I'm going to show you guys like everything I get on like a plant-based vegan diet in Munich. So I have my little bag that is literally on the verge of snapping. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through everything that I get. Like, we need this rice cooker to pack. Whoever owns this, thank you, because it's like the best tripod ever. But oranges. I don't usually have oranges, but I'm going to start having like oranges in the mixer with some ginger. It's a ginger, but I feel like this ginger's gone a bit weird. Does ginger like have an end date on? 26 of Jan. Maybe we throw this ginger away. Okay, then I got some potatoes because when I make soup, I usually have potatoes as my base if it's normal potatoes or if it's a sweet potato. So I have them and I have peppers. They're in the fridge at the moment. Um, yeah. And then I get some bananas. I'm trying to like get plastic free stuff. So I think this is doing pretty well. So I've got some bananas. Um, and then my avocados. But I only have one left at the moment. So. But I went to Portobello Market and I got these in 50p. So I got like four. So it's pretty decent. Four for like two pounds because you usually pay like. £2.50 or something stupid in the supermarket for like 10 So, and that is all my veg. I do have like other bits as well. Let me just check. I mean, like I have like my bags of salad and then I have like my peppers and then I usually just have corn meat and uh, pasta and I just like put vegetables on it and then yeah, it's pretty basic. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast. So I'm just putting my berries, frozen berries I've had for like months, but I'm sure they'll be fine because they've been frozen. And then I've just got my bananas, so I'm going to snap them off and just throw it in. I'm going to like cut it up. I just usually like do this. Make sure you've got clean hands because that's gross if you don't. I do, so we're all good. All right, big chunk. Throw that in. Okay. Then I usually add some liquids, so I'll put in some soy milk. So it's kind of like very milkshake -y at the same time in a way. It's more like a milkshake, I suppose you could say. I mean, just be quite generous if you want. Because the frozen berries are going to make a horrible noise when you're trying to cut them up. And blender because they're so hard usually. Um, unless you've got a really good blender, in my case, mine isn't the best. <laughs> 